Hi boys, just got some parcels through the door. What we got there, we got, I'll show you actually. These are gonna look mad on my little my little wagon, see them? Lovely, two lots of them, two lots of interior lights. Don't know though what that is, I forget what that is, I forget what that is, I ain't opened them yet. Well bless me old bird, the old pigeon, it's come back again, so it's give me the old eyes and give it a bit of old toast that I didn't eat this morning. I'll give you some old bird seed and all. Nothing's easier than me, not even with the pigeons. So just to make it a bit interesting for them, I've put a load of seed underneath with loads of uh, butter and um, I've put another bit of toast on top. <laughs> Lost words. Yeah, and I've imp impressed that on the bread, if that makes sense. Yeah, just to uh, make it interesting for them. I've just threw it down, boys. Yeah, let's see how long it takes for them to turn up. I ain't staying here all day, so. Yeah, that's long enough. I think, boys, tonight I'm going to do a little bit of a stir fry. I've got this chicken, like, I didn't touch it yesterday and I cooked it the day before. So I'll better use it. I've got some uh, roasted potato there that I'm going to throw in as well. I'm not sure about the carrots. What else? Yeah, so I've, I've pulled the chicken anyway. I've done the giblets and I've done the legs and I'm going to save that bit of crown for tomorrow. What do you call it? Breast crown? I'm not too sure. I'm no expert on bleeding food, but I know Chinese would be all right, I think. Let's hope so. I'll call it yeah. So I've seasoned up the spuds and chicken. These are coming to the end of their life, so I'm going to throw them in, a bit of um, spring onion. Oh, oh, I haven't defrosted them, I'm just going to cook them first so we haven't got a situation. Yeah, you don't want to be going in hospital with prawns. What's that thing you get? Oh, fuck no, it makes you go sick though. Fucking thing. That's over a bit of veg. Cooking at a high heat, you see. Asian style. Shout out to my Asian brothers. Oh, I can't undo it one end. Bummer. Right, seamlessly done. A bit more for luck. Right, now, let's add the chicken. More chicken and a bit of spud. Waste not one not, as Mel Rana used to say, God love it. Oops, very unprofessional with the fingering. Now for a bit of the old spring onion. A few tomatoes. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna add a bit more soy sauce. So that'll, that'll give it a bit of moisture the tomatoes. That chicken's very dry. I'm actually gonna take this off the high heat now. And Cover it and just cook it slowly for about five minutes, let it cool down, sweat under its own heat, you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about, making up to go along, isn't it? Right, where's my glass thing? I can't do that one, I need to. Right then, people, I'll leave it there. Bon appetit, everyone. Hope you're having a good night. You know what time it is. Stayed. It was all about B&B. &B it was all about B &B We didn't invent it, but we wasn't going to come and change to conform and just be fake. My oh, new hobby, sewing. Fuck's sake. Wait, it's a pandemic crisis. What are you going to do? We're a midlife crisis. Before any of this, me and Run, we didn't have wardrobe. We was all over the place. 
Some good neighbours, that boys, eh? That's me old neighbour Lee, just made me Sunday dinner, God love him. Thanks. Nice one, Lee, brother. Look at that boy's fucking serious, smells delicious. It's got another parcel in the post. Look at that, boys. Dentistry, caravanning, mobile homes, vans. Got the tools now, boys. Guess fucking who, boys. That's me old mate in the background there, Carl Morlin from the Isle of Man. Box for England. And there's Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> Tremendous with his Ocean Pacific shorts that got robbed. New balance trainers. Check them fucking chicken legs, boys, out. Only two fucking pictures I got from boxing. Where's the other one? Hold on. That's me, uh, letter from Charles Bronson. You know, Charlie Bronson. Yippee. And there's me. Only two pictures ever of me boxing ever. Sponsored look. God love me look. Fucking hell. I was back in them boys back then. Yeah, sponsored dude. Lonsdale boots, Lonsdale fucking shorts. Tremendous. I thought, I've been about 14 then I think. Jamie would know, fucking Carl would as well. Court. It's for Leeds United moved into the top half of the Premier League table as they dispatch Crystal Palace 2 0 at Ellen Road. Goals from Jack Hansen. There's me old daddy's horse. He called it Tommy, I called it Valencia. Never did listen to me. Jamie, my old front row. I'll show you them tomorrow. Old fashioned hobby, stamp collection. Found him in a drawer yesterday. Don't know where they come from. Just changing the old room about, boys. Got rid of the old comfy living uh, YouTube fucking thing. Big up Michael Schumacher. Fuck yourself, Lewis. Just how I like it, boys. I like me women. Dirty. And that is looking dirty. Making Bentley's toilet seat there, boys. So working away on me toilet, boys. And me old neighbour Trish there, God love her, look. She said, Shay, we over uh, ordered pizza at work. She just phoned me and said, do you want some? I said, fuck you, mate, bring it on. She said, God love her. And I'm having trouble so I can get him through this toilet, to be honest. That, my friends, is one dangerous bit of kit. Cool, one slip with that and you're, um, you're losing fingers. Just doing a bit of housework, bit of cleaning up, doing uh, dishes and that, a little wrap on the door. I haven't opened it yet, but Chris, thank you, brother, Chris from Sheffield. I'm going to open it now. I know what it is because you told me already, so thank you, brother. Nice one. I bleed in love parcels, even when I buy myself. It's like an addiction, isn't it? It's like shopping. <laughs> oh, did I show you my new tool, by the way? Where is it? There it is down there. One minute. Oh, I'm sure I showed you last night, but if I haven't, well, you can't see that proper light, like that reflection. That is my new dentistry kit. I'm going to take my own teeth, make some. But, um, yeah, it's a mini rotary tool. It is bloody brilliant. It cut out my toilet seat last night. It paid for itself in one go in my eyes. Right, time to open my parcel. Oh my days. Now Chris knows I'm a massive United supporter. How about this? My old Gippo wagon. No disrespect to the gypsies, but if you look on the registration, it says Gippo. 
Some might say oh, I'm a chippo. Um, look at that. Oh, Bentley on the front. Look. Looks like somebody's... You, you can't see that, can you? Chris, it looks like somebody's had a cup of tea testing it for me. There it is, look. It looks like somebody's... I think that's just the cardboard dust. But what do I always say to people? That's why people like my channel, because I keep it king real. Jonah, you're going to have to pay me a licence fee from now on, because people know me by that saying, keep it real. Thanks, Chris, again, mate. It's beautiful. That's going with me uh, Nick's cup. Nick got me a cup just like this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to become a cup. Cl uh, don't say a mug. Easy. I call myself a mug. You can't call me that. I can call me that. But uh, yeah, comfy living. Keep it real. Got the old Bentley on the front. I've only ever used Nick's cup twice. Three times at the most. Because I don't like using it. Because I don't want to drop it. And I ain't going to use this. I'm going to use it in a minute. For the first time. Maybe one more twice. Maybe bring it out in the wagon, but thanks, Chris, again. Sorry for going on, but it's the dog's bollocks, man. And it's hand-painted as well, because you can see where the keys has had a little joint or two, and he stopped painting it, and, like, he's gone back to it later. It's the bollocks, man. Thanks, Chris, brother. Comfy living, keeping it real. Bit of pizza for breakfast. You can't get no more real than that. Old school. Just keep Bentley and I'll sweep out. So I'm just uh, washing the old van. Pull out some water. So cold it is, boys. That's what we call ice water. Yeah, I'll save that for Ron. Such a productive cool day. I'm actually defrosting now. Christopher in Sheffield. Nice one, son. No sugar. Never mind. Well, what a productive day. Started with cleaning the flat. Hoovering, which is a ball ache because it means I have to lean down and crush some pelvic bones. My hips. And um, done my shopping. Went up to Aldi. Little even. Why do I keep calling it Aldi? I haven't been to Aldi in months. Dummy shopping, 30 notes there, that should do the week really. Except the beer. Um, then, done a little bit of filming. Then, wash Bentley. Didn't really need it, but, uh, you know, she deserves it and all that. And then, Back to the flat, feel positive. Yeah, feel real positive today. It's been a good day, and now tonight I've got a bit of sewing to do. My newfound passion, there's you, here's my old neighbour there, and good love, Anne. Don't you can't see her, no. Here's our one going down the stairs. Here's Anne. She's got a connection with Penny, I won't tell you why, but she has. Anyway. Change hands because I'm keeping it real. All right, Jonah, and give me some of them, you okay. cunt. Just keeping it real, keeping it real. Oh, right, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a bit of sewing later. And Le Crapier will be finished. Finish me bogging the van. Yeah. That rotary tool is so cool. I think, I'm not 100%, I think it was Project Amber that used it. Project Amber even that used it, and he said they were a handy tool, and I like clocked, and I was like, three or four months later, I went and got one, because I needed it. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm out of here, I need to defrost. Just been a good day. Even the hounds in the fucking street are fucking happy. But I do go round in pairs round here, even the Alsatians are rottweilers go round in twos and threes. 
I'm not saying it's rough or nothing, but we call it Fallujah. Right out of here. A bit of beef casserole tonight, boys, and I thought I'd have a bit of rice with it. I've just done the 12-minute rule. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, look at that. To die for, boys. I can guarantee that's perfect. Look at that. That's dinner, boys, now. Right. Time for a bit of crumbs, starving. Bon appetit. Coming along, boys. Checking on, boys. See it there, my old needle. My old favourite hobby nowadays. A bit of bloody sewing. There she is, boys, in all her glory. The La Crapatia. Or the Shitter, in English. Keep calm. Another Fanta. As you say, when you go home, you will relax into something that's more comfortable. Not impressed. Twitched in the uh, rubber shower. Let's fucking got it inside out. Who dresses themselves <laughs> inside out? I didn't even think. Right, time to go and go and get me wife, the old Stella. I won't get his uh, face on the camera, but just stop at the petrol station. My man, proper rude boy with his range. No number plate. Let's try and knock his face on there. What's up, guys? Montel here. I've been getting a lot of questions lately. How do you defeat someone that's more bigger and more powerful than you? Here's a simple trick that I use to defeat my opponents. It's called the slip and roll. What's going to happen? He'll throw the jab. You're gonna slip, leaves all his body open for a nice body shot. You'll then throw a hook, you'll roll. Hit him in the head, he usually leaves him knocked out. In fast motion, this is what I look like. Thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend, I mean my wife. Yeah, I mean my wife, yeah, sorry to say. I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife. Lizzo, I love you so much. Aya, I love you so much from my heart. Hello, you have reached the automated answering service of your school. In order to assist you in connecting to the right staff member, please listen to all the options before making a selection. To lie about why your child is absent, press 1. To make excuses for why your child did not do his homework, press 2. To complain about what we do, press 3. To swear at staff members, press 4. To ask why you didn't get information that has already been enclosed in your newsletter and several flyers that have been mailed to you, press 5. If you want us to raise your child, press 6. If you want to reach out and touch, slap, or hit someone, press 7. To request another teacher for the third time this year, press 8. To complain about bus transportation, press 9. To complain about school lunches, press 0. If you realize this is the real world and your child must be accountable and responsible for his or her own behavior, classwork and homework, and that it's not the teacher's fault for your child's lack of effort, hang up and have a nice day. If you want this in another language, move to a country that speaks it. Thank you for your interest in public education. Wicked! <laughs> 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 Tremendous!